This is Matt Stott McCallum, and you're watching Sport Icon. Now, I've been fortunate enough to know many, many fighters on a personal level in boxing many times. So, of course, I've experienced many highs. I've experienced some lows in that, of course. But this one tonight in Bolton, Matt Stark McCallum, formerly Stark, maybe Stark may come back. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see if he goes and check changes the, um, the depot. But the Wolfman, listen, for those of you who's been with me for a little while, you'll know that, um, uh, you know, I love Matt. Um, got a lot of time for him. I filmed like his last three fights. Th so I didn't film his uh, pro debut, but I filmed the rest of his fights. So to be proud of him would be an understatement. It really would. Now, he's with uh, Matty Jobes. Again, um, I've been filming a lot of his own fight nights. He puts on uh, his own promotional shows now as well. He's got a show, um, um, a gym just up the road from me in Benwell. And Matt has now moved over there to um, like a full time. And for him to take the Northern Area title opportunity at only five fights deep shows what balls Matt McCallum has. Now, coming into this fight, I knew that his engine was phenomenal. I knew that, of course, he's alongside Nathan Comiskey and Matt Jobes, of course, would be putting him through the paces, not only for the sparring, but on the pad work, all that kind of stuff. Then, of course, you've got John Slaughter, who is literally grinding him and Nathan's bones, grinding them down. I mean, strength and conditioner coach. By the way, if anybody needs a strength and conditioner coach, hit up John Slaughter. But anyway, so... Matt McCallum, he's fighting for the Northern Area Super Middleweight title against Mike McGoldrick. Mike McGoldrick, eight wins, one defeat. That one defeat was against Zach Chelly. No shame in that one, right? So we knew going into this fight that the experience, of course, would be on the side of Mike McGoldrick. Again, Matt has had no amateur fights, none. But he's had a bunch of unlicensed fights, if you like. Um, never lost one, as well as far as I, um, I'm aware. But Southpaw. So... In this fight, again, this is on fight zone. This is Matt McCallum going away from home, if you like. Even though it's a Northern Area title, of course it is, but it's in Bolton. Okay, that's not the Northeast, but the Northeast belt is on the line, which is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. But Matt, he took the opportunity and he said, you know what, I'll have it. So, so of course, he went down there. He's the away fighter, if you like. And... Round number one comes around, and he's looking good, he's moving well, um, he, he's got that awkward southpaw style where he'll flick out the jab and then just throw that big left hand straight down the pipe, and it caught Mike McGoldrick. Mike McGoldrick looked very, very static in the first round. He didn't look loose, I don't, I don't know whether or not um, he didn't warm up properly, or maybe he just looked at Matt McCallum for ah, easy work, I don't know what he thought, but he was just pretty much there. He weren't moving his head or anything, Matt McCallum was like, thank you very much. Pop. Drops Mike McGoldrick. And I'm like, come on, man. Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. I said, I filmed like the last uh, three fights for Matt McCallum. Didn't drop any of those opponents. But again, you know what? He was fighting a durable journeyman, of course, uh, one of them, my pal Pucci. But anyway, he drops him again at the end of round number one. And I'm thinking, oh, God, I just wish there was just 30 seconds left. That would be great. And that will get him out of there at this moment. But the bell saved Mike McGoldrick, no doubt. Round number two comes out and Matt is throwing the kitchen sink at him. He's hitting him with some pretty decent shots. But now, at last, as far as uh, Mike McGoldrick is concerned, he's actually moving his head a little bit. But Matt is throwing the body shots. And if I remember rightly, I think it's actually the body shot that stopped Mike McGoldrick when he lost in his only fight to Zach Chelly. So Matt was throwing big body shots and he was doing that consistently. And whenever his elbows come down, another straight, um, straight left would go down the pipe. And he was there. He was there to be hit. And somehow, somehow Mike McGoldrick developed a chin that he didn't have in round number one. He just grew a chin and was eating the big shots. He was. But either way, Matt, he won in the second round. And in round number three as well, he won that one quite comfortably. But but I did notice towards the end of round number three, Matt was starting to take a little bit of a back foot. I could see maybe he's starting to tire a little bit. Maybe he's thrown too much into those opening three rounds. As I said, I know his engine is, is phenomenal. But of course, when you're under the lights, you know that you're going to be on TV for the first time on Fight Zone. 
And it's a big show and there's a lot on the line. It's a title. This is his dream. Forget anything else that he achieves in boxing. This was his dream. To win the Northern Area title. Anything else from now on is a bonus for him. Okay, so there's a lot on the line here. So he still had seven rounds to go. And Mike McGoldrick is looking like he ain't going to get out of there. He's just going to keep on coming forward. Round number four, Mike McGoldrick, he's uh, pushing Matt back and uh, he's throwing some pretty good body shots back himself. Uh, but again, I think that maybe Matt may have just edged round number four. May have just edged it. Round number five, I thought that uh, Mike McGoldrick won that one. Uh, I want to say comfortably, but he won it. But again, he was eating some pretty big shots. And again, he was delivering big shots as well. He was landing some pretty big shots on Matt. And obviously with like a fight zone, with the way that they film fights, the camera's quite far away. So you can't really see the facial expression and the body language too much. But it looked like uh, Matt was starting to get hurt. That's what it looked like. So of course, I'm getting a little bit nervous now. For him, round number six comes around. And Matt, Matt McCallum just throws the kitchen sink at him. He's throwing some big shots and Mike don't look comfortable. Mike McGoldrick just doesn't look comfortable, but somehow he manages to bite down his gum shield, weather the storm for the first uh, two and a half minutes of round number six, and then finishes really strong at the end of round number six. Well, I thought maybe he even hurt Matt. I don't know if he hurt Matt. I'm going to have to speak with him. But round number seven and Matt McCallum, even though he looked like he was... And I'm starting to fatigue at the end, end of round number six. Again, neither one of these fellas have been past round six before, okay? Because they've only ever done six, six rounders, okay? So round number seven is new territory for both of them. And Mike McGoldrick come out on the front foot and I'm thinking, okay, maybe he thinks he hurt Matt and he's just going to go after him. But no, Matt just bounced back, back around, spun him around and cracked him. And you could see automatically smoking the boots happened for Mike McGoldrick. You could just see it. Matt saw it and threw everything at him. He threw the kitchen sink. He threw the photo frames. He threw the coffee table. He threw teddy bears at him. He threw everything at him. And thankfully for Mike, Mike McGoldrick, the referee stepped in. So, and then knew, as I said, this is one of the best feelings that I've had in boxing. And I couldn't be more proud of Matt McCallum. Honestly, whatever he achieves in boxing now, it's all a bonus. He had a dream and he fulfilled it. He's fulfilled it already. This wasn't the plan. The plan was to do it about, well, another two or three fights time. But he's done it against a real, real tough lad. And I'm going to see if he can get over to the, the gym tomorrow or on Sunday, something like that. And uh, I'll go grab that interview off him. Well done, Matty. Proud of you, pal. Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you on the next video.